Take you to the Eastern Cape now and nine nurses at Grey Hospital in King Williamstown have been suspended because of the death of a patient. It's understood the nurses refused to help the patient suspected to have COVID-19 because they did not have proper protective gear. My colleague Avi Mtila is in King Williamstown and he joins us. What's the latest at this hour, Avi? Well, Dudu, uh, in my hand I have one of those nine suspension letters. Uh, in fact, to some of the nurses at Grey Hospital, they were suspended, uh, we are told, after they refused to help a patient on Monday, which we understand later passed on, suspected to have COVID-19. But just to get more understanding on the situation, I am joined by Mlu Ngapai from the Union Nahao. Just to get more details, Mlu, thank you for joining us at ENCA. But why did these uh, nurses refuse to assist this particular patient? Okay, thank you, Aviwe. As you know, that uh, there's a national uh, and an understanding with the National Minister of Health that mm. without the, the adequate PPE, is you can never touch um, a patient. So workers were then compelled not to touch uh, uh, the patient because they they had no PPE that was supposed to be given to them by the department. Secondly, they were forced by the uh, hospital to admit. A, a patient in a ward that a previously had a positive patient. Now, workers were raising the fact that that uh, room has not been contaminated, so they can never then admit. So, uh, the, the, their demand was that the patient must be transferred to the next available hospital. So that is the reason in the main that workers refused to attend to the, to the patient. But Mlu, um, we were here just two weeks ago speaking on this very issues um, of PPEs with yes. you, in fact, uh, at the very great hospital. Uh, the minister gave us the understanding that that would be resolved. But what is happening? No, even to, to this day, we're still having a problem with the supply of PPE. If we can check now, as we're speaking, we've got workers that are outside at Nompumelelo uh, in PD. They do not have uh, uh, sufficient PPEs. And at the same time, we're struggling with the department in terms of the implementation of the guidelines, whereby if there is a, a worker that has been uh, found to be positive, the hospital is supposed to be closed so that uh, the combination can be done. But now the Department of Health is only forcing other institutions, like, for example, the Nix Foods, uh, there was a, a worker that was positive, and the, the whole uh, shop was closed, same as the police station in King William Star. But the health now is finding it difficult to close their hospital when there are workers that are, are, are positive. Same as when there is um, a, a patient that has been found to be positive. They're supposed to be contaminated to contamination before a second uh, or another lot of uh, um, patients is, is, is allowed to come in in that uh, particular ward. So now I just want a better understanding, seeing that you are from the National Education, Health and uh, Allied Workers Union. You, mm -hmm. of course, deal with the province as a whole. I want a better understanding of what is happening in the Eastern Cape in terms of the health facilities and um, the workers on the ground. Do you know how many people have tested positive or are they uh, adequately protected? In our understanding, in particular in the region of Maximal Lingos, we have got very serious situations. For example, in Bisho, we've got uh, four of our workers who tested positive over the weekend. And this morning, one of them has since passed on. As we're speaking also at uh, Victoria Hospital, there is a problem where there are three uh, uh, members that also tested positive. As we're speaking, we can go to, uh, uh, to, to AMS, King Lewiston, please. Also, we've got one of our, our members that has also been tested posit positive back in April, but the results only came back this week. And you can just imagine now the situation that to those uh, the colleagues that are working close with, you, as well as the patients that have been assisted, it means also they are at risk now because for the whole month he has been servicing uh, the community without uh, knowing his, his results. But now, since the results are back and he's positive, you can sense what is happening. As we're speaking at um, Nompumelelo in Pedi, we've got one of our uh, member also who's also tested positive. But the department is refusing once again to close the hospital so that uh, the, the contamination of the facility can be done. So from where we're seated, we're very frustrated because it's more like now the department is putting us against the community, whereby we're supposed to attend to community members, 
without adequate um, uh, uh, PPEs. At the same time, it is frustrating to workers to lose uh, uh, community members or to see community members passing on in front of them without being uh, able to assist because of, of the lack of the PPEs. It's quite a very frustrating situation in our region in particular. Now, just lastly, you mentioned a concerning issue of um, one of the employees getting tested and only receiving uh, the results a month later. What is the situation in that regard? What happens with the testing and how soon do the, the employees get their, their results back? We are told, as by the guidelines, that the results are supposed to be out within 24 hours. But we don't know why there are delays. But as you can see, that even across the other areas, there are delays in terms of air results. We don't know. We can't speak on that. But it is very frustrating on us because now, just imagine having to uh, attend to e committee members without knowing your results, without uh, having an outcome at a, the expected time. So it is a very, very frustrating situation that we find ourselves in as the workers uh, on the ground. Thank you very much. That is uh, Mulu Ngapai uh, from Nehau detailing very si uh, concerning situations um, in the Eastern Cape of, uh, in fact, uh, some instances where employees get the results uh, a month later. We've heard uh, at Bishop Hospital a patient, uh, I beg your pardon, an employee passed away just yesterday because of COVID-19. We've been trying to get our Department of Health and of course we'll still be trying to get the Department of Health uh, in the Eastern Cape just to find out exactly uh, their preparedness and to deal and protecting employees when it comes to COVID-19. And we look forward to it. Thank you very much. And Gosi Aviwe Mtila out in the Eastern Cape for us.